We're here with the mountain bike of Roger Serrano, head of the Xterra here in Malta. Thanks so much for joining us. Roger. Hello, everybody. Um, Roger is the European Xterra champ. He's also the European Tour Series champ for Xterra, and he's a previous under 23 champion for the ITU Cross Triathlon. So let's get stuck in to his kit. First of all, let's talk about the frame. Now, this is the Protec brand. Um, it's an Italian brand, I understand, but this is pretty new to me. I've never heard of the brand, so chat us through it, Roger. Yeah, so it's an Italian frame uh, from a region called Abruzzo. Uh, you see it has this spectacular finish, carbon fiber finish, no paint. Uh, it's a really aggressive bike, really uh, light frame. Uh, it has no pivot uh, point on the, on the back of the frame, so it gives uh, a really, really uh, feeling of steepness. And, and what yeah. size are you riding as well? Yeah, I'm riding an M size uh, and the weight of the bike is uh, 10, 10 kilos, 200 grams right now with XT pedals and aluminum uh, seat. Okay, so let's take a look at the cockpit area and the handlebar. So it's quite a wide handlebar setup. Do you know the width? At it all? is. I don't, I don't know exactly how, how wide it is, but it's, it's wide enough yeah. and it really works. Great, and then on that we've got the SRAM Eagle gear shifters, the XX1, um, and then we have the SRAM Guide Ultimate brake levers. Um, how do you find that? Yeah, I mean, obviously SRAM XX1. I don't have, I don't need to 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 tell uh, anything else about it. It's it's the best gear set uh, you can you can use in a mountain bike. And I'm pretty amazing. I'm pretty amazed about the new new Guide Ultimate brakes. Uh, I was was using the XTR uh, Shimano last year, and I got these ones like two three weeks ago, and I really enjoy them. Especially this this uh, setting systems you can you can really uh, adjust it to you to yourself. So you can adjust the power points, everything. Brilliant. And then uh, the stem length. Um, so you've got a 110 stem on here with a nice sort of drop down as well. Yeah. What, do you it's, know what it's 100, it's 100. The length is 100 and it's 70 degrees. Okay, then moving down from that, we have the RockShox seat um, front suspension and that's got 100 mil of travel. And I assume it's got a lockout as well. Yeah, on the handlebar. Okay, and then from that, we've obviously got the SRAM Guide Ultimate Hydraulic disc brakes, which you've got the rotor in a 160 mil. Okay, and then moving on from that, let's look at the rear suspension and it's the RockShox Monarch with 100 mil of travel? Yes. Yeah, um, and again, I'm guessing this has got a lockout feature. Yeah, but this time not in the handlebar here, which uh, takes out one of the cables in front. Uh, keeps it simple. Yeah, it keeps it simple. Not like a PC from the 90s. Okay. And yeah, it's it's really comfortable. Yeah, awesome. really accessible. And then moving on from that, you've already mentioned that it's fully kitted out with SRAM Eagle XX1. Uh, so talk us through your crank set here. Yeah, um, I have a 32 plate teeth in the front and a 175 millimeter crank uh, with an XT pedal, which, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you need a little bit more security than lightness. Okay, and then following on from that, again, we've obviously got the SRAM Eagle XX1 rear mech and then a beefy cassette here. Yeah, 1050. Nice. And then behind that, we have the SRAM Guide Ultimate rear brake in a 160 rotor size. And then I've obviously noticed this uh, protection here. Is this just bar tape you're using? It's bar tape. So that's just when the chain slaps around. Got to keep the bike looking nice. All right, and then on to the wheels. This is a brand I'm not that familiar with. Obviously, it's a 29 inch, but talk us through it. Yeah, it's a local brand called Spit6 uh, next to my hometown, Tarragona. It's a carbon wheel. Uh, they, they mount it in, in that place. Uh, just got it two weeks ago, but they are light and they work really, really good. Super, and then on that, we've got the Vittoria tires. Uh, which model are these again? It's the Vittoria Peyote 2.1. Okay, let's move on to some of the finishing touches. So I've noticed you've actually got more of a road saddle here. This is a specialized power saddle. It is. So you like getting quite aggressive on onto the front. It allows you to go a little bit aggressive and not change the position from the road bike, which we train a lot. And yeah, it's a nice one. Super, and then coming down from that, you're carrying your CO2 canister and tire lever in quite a nice, like neat way. This is from Specialized as well, I believe. Specialized, it's quite cheap, it's, uh, simple and you carry a CO2 which is needed yeah. some, sometimes. S super. And then I understand you've got a slightly different puncture plan as well that you carry on your stem for race day. This is a screw, it saves your life sometimes. <laughs> when you have a hole in your tire, you just plug it in, 
then you can roll. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of your kit, Roger. So first of all, your wetsuit, and this is the Orca Predator. A little bit more buoyancy on the lower part of the wetsuit, and then these extremely thin arms, which give you pure freedom when you're swimming. So I guess if you do swim in the pool and your legs drag along, or you just want to switch your legs off and drag them, drag them behind you, that's a great suit for you. And then this rather cool tri suit here. I like the design of it. I did it myself. Oh, did you? That's brilliant. Nice. Yeah, this is an old one I designed it a few years ago, but this year I don't have a brand that sponsors me, so I had to keep an old one. Brilliant. And then on to your helmet, and this is the Bole The One. Yes, it is. Uh, it's actually a road cycling helmet, but I like it very much, so I can use it with this uh, solar panel to, to avoid the sun. And then the glasses, the sunnies, are the Bole V-Rock. Yeah, they... The modulator lenses. Modulator lenses. Very nice. And then finally, we've got the Mavic Crossmax. Uh, Custom mask. painted. <laughs> Very nice. Um, and I've noticed here you've got the specialized insole. So it's got a little bit more sort of geometry with the foot to help. It has. And finally, your running shoes, which you're nicely modeling for us now. <laughs> uh, they're the Nike Streak 6. Yes. Um, box fresh by the looks of things as well. And um, do you switch laces out for race day? No, I use these laces, they are tight already. Yeah. Just, Just takes, takes a little bit more time to fit uh, the feet in. God, my mum would be telling me off if I did that. But then you don't have uh, problems running. Super, and it's, it's a traditional, traditionally this is a road shoe, not a trail shoe. You find that okay? Yeah, as long as it's dry course, no problems. Right, well that is all from us. Thanks so much for joining us, Roger. Thank you guys. Yeah, and I'm, I'm very glad you were here to help me through this because this is very much unknown territory to me. Um, do keep an eye on the channel for loads more Xterra content and to make sure you don't miss any of it, click on the globe and subscribe. If you want to see another bike review, just click down here. If you'd like to see our trail running video, just click down here.